I was looking at the health profile of a patient named Ted. A fellow cardiologist asked my help in finding the cause of Ted's heart failure. Based on prior experience, the evidence pointed to ATTRCM, transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy. And when you look at his case, the clinical clues were there. Ted had heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, carpal tunnel syndrome, and intolerance to his heart failure medications. His most recent ECG and echocardiogram added to the clues. There was a discordance. His echo revealed increased left ventricular wall thickness, while the ECG showed normal QRS voltage. Plus, blood and urine tests ruled out AL light chain amyloidosis. And even though my past ATTRCM patients had slightly different combinations of symptoms, I know enough about cardiac amyloidosis to feel confident that Ted's signs were pointing to ATTRCM. But to prove it, you need the facts, and nothing but. You have two ways to detect ATTRCM, endomyocardial biopsy, a traditional but invasive procedure, and nuclear scintigraphy. We utilized a nuclear scintigraphy cardiac imaging protocol to evaluate TED. This protocol uses a radio tracer to detect amyloid deposits in the heart. There are three radio tracers that can be used. 99M technetium label 3, 3-diphosphono 1, 2 propano dicarboxylic acid, 99M TCDPD, 99M technetium label pyrophosphate, 99M TCPYP, or 99M technetium labeled hydroxymethylene diphosphonate, 99M TCH. MDP. There is growing evidence regarding the use of nuclear scintigraphy cardiac imaging in the diagnosis of ATTRCM when combined with testing to rule out AL. Both planar and SPECT imaging should be reviewed and interpreted using visual and quantitative approaches. A multi-center international study of scintigraphy at amyloid centers of excellence demonstrated 100% specificity for ATTRCM using visual grade 2 or 3 with concurrent testing to rule out AL. As I suspected, the test results came back confirming ATTRCM, transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy. A genetic test confirmed it wasn't hereditary, and by exclusion, I now had a diagnosis for TED. Wild type ATTRCM. Case closed, mystery solved. For Ted, we now know his true diagnosis. I'll continue seeing Ted and monitoring his case. And for everyone else, you should never stop looking for the hidden clues of ATTRCM.